I uh, talk to you for a second? In private? Yeah, sure. You can talk to me. What do you want? You know, uh, it's been three years that you've been sticking in my side. I gotta be honest with you, man. If it was anybody else, I would have taken him out a long time ago. I don't know, there's something about you, man, that makes me stop and think. And, and <laughs> don't get me wrong, man. It's not like I'm, I'm getting a conscious all of a sudden. Oh, you, you know what, Andre? Maybe you're more like me than you want to think. See, right now, you sell garbage. But maybe deep in your heart, you really want to pick it up. <laughs> I mean, work on that trash truck with me. <laughs> you really expect me to, 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 to give up my fine house, my car, all the fine things in life that you'll never have? Well, I don't envy you. You've acquired all those nice things off the blood of your own people. And when you die, how much of that nice stuff do you think you'll be able to take with you? How much of that stuff will they be able to cram into your casket? <laughs> you know, I used to always wonder what makes guys like you tick. Well, I'll tell you, Andre. <laughs> I mean, it's easy. <laughs> Compared to you, I'm living the good life. You see, Andre, I can sit with my back to the door. I can sit with my back to the door and relax. Because I know I haven't done anybody wrong. Yeah, but let me tell you something. There are a million ways to die. Only two ways to live. Rich or poor. And this is the only way that I know how to get rich. And don't get me wrong, I'm not apologizing for a damn thing. But when I look at my life, I don't see no other way. You see, man, I've been in and out of penal institutions since I was 11 years old. And I don't see no other way. Maybe it's messed up my mind or something. All I know is that I can barely read above a sixth grade level, but I know how to count money. So you see, I'm just a pawn in this drug game. All I know is that I'm trying to achieve a piece of the American dream the only way they will allow me. So you see, if you move me out of this neighborhood, it ain't gonna make no difference. Another drug dealer is gonna come in and set up shop. And I'm telling you something. I spared your ass, trash man. Maybe the next guy won't do that. Well, you see, Andre, that's where you and all your drug dealers continue to miscalculate. It's not just me. It's everybody here. There are more of us than you. There are more good, hard-working people than there are drug dealers. And we're tired. Tired, Andre. And we plan to change things. Yeah, well, if you believe that, you're not as smart as I thought you were. Well, then maybe I'm not. But I do know, you know, I understand a little about this world. Regardless of corruption and who's really bringing in the drugs into the community, we as a people can no longer use that reason as an excuse to stand by and do nothing about it. I mean, if we take your view of the world, Andre, we'd see nothing but crack addicts and heroin junkies, you know, vomiting and urinating in the streets. If you take my view, there's a beautiful park where children are playing without fear. And if you can't see how ugly that first picture is and how beautiful the second one is, then there's no hope of redemption for you at all. Yeah. Well, I've spent all of my life in that ugly picture. And I don't see where there's a place for me in the other one. Well, there's a place for you if you want to be in there, Andre. You call yourself a businessman. Well, then maybe it's time you become a real businessman and start building up this community instead of tearing it down. 
so you want me to be like you? Turn my whole life around. I don't think I can do that. Oh, sure you can. Anybody can change, Andre, if they put their mind to it. I mean, look at it this way. If you start to change now, you might just be able to negotiate yourself a cool spot in hell. Yeah, I hear you.